Welcome to the Madison Miller Podcast. Today is Tuesday, February 15th, 2022. Today I'm going to recap the Olympic results from yesterday in Beijing. You look ahead to tonight's action here in America, which is tomorrow in Beijing. Um, for the most part, college basketball. We'll recap the games from last night. Look ahead to today. Same with NBA and NHL. Then news and notes and best bets. So Olympics is where we're going to start today just to uh, change things up. In the show, pecking order. Um, so Alpine skiing, women's downhill, bronze going to Nadia, the late go of Italy, the silver going to Sofia Gaggia of Italy, and the gold going to Corinne Sutter of Switzerland. Biathlon, the men's four by seven and a half kilometer relay, the bronze going to Russia, the silver going to France, and the gold going to Norway. Bobsley, the two man heat four is going on as we currently speak. Or no, in a little bit, my bad. Um, 8.50 our time, which is 9.50 out in uh, Beijing. Um, curling. Um, men's round robin session 9. Norway over ROC 12-5. Canada over China 10-8. U.S. over Switzerland 7-4. Sweden over Denmark 8-3. ROC over China 11-5. And women's round robin session 9 as well. Sweden over Denmark 9-3. Switzerland over USA 6 or 9-6. And Great Brain over Japan, 10 to 4. Men's round robin session, 10. In progress, Sweden's beating, or Great Britain's beating Sweden, 4 to 2. Italy's up 5 to 3 on the U.S. China and Norway tied at 3 apiece. And ROC over Canada, 3 to 2. Figure skating is in progress. The women's single skating short program. Freestyle skiing, the uh, women's free ski slip style final run 3. The bronze going to Kelly Cesaro of. Estonia, the silver going to Aying Ailing Gu of China, and the gold going to uh, Mathilde Germaud of Switzerland. Men's playoffs in hockey, qualification playoff. Slovakia over Germany, 4 0. Denmark over Latvia, 3 2. Switzerland over Chez, 4 2. And Canada's up 2 zip on China. The Nordic Combine. The individual Gunderson Large Hill 10 kilometer cross country. The bronze is Akito Watabe of Japan. The silver, Jens Luras of Turbo of Norway. And the gold going to Georgian Grabak of Norway. Snowboarding. The women's snowboard big air final run three. Bronze going to Kokomo Morase of Japan. Silver going to Zoe Sadowski Sinat of New Zealand. And the gold going to Anna Gosser of Austria. And the men's snowboard big air final run three. The bronze going to Max Parrot of Canada. The silver going to Mons Roisland of Norway. And the gold going to Yiming Su of China. Speed skating. Um, women's team pursue final A. The bronze going to the Netherlands. The silver going to Japan. The gold going to Canada. And the men's team pursue final A. Bronze going to the U.S. The silver going to ROC. And the gold going to Norway. Now we look ahead to tomorrow in Beijing. Which some of these will be tonight here. Um, Alpine skiing, you have the men's Salam Run 2 gold medal event. Women's Alpine Combo downhill first training were scheduled. Biathlon, you have the women's 4x6 kilometer relay gold medal event. Bobsley, you have the, the four men and the two women official trainings. Men's is 1 and 2, and the women's is 3 and 4. Cross country skiing, you have the team sprint classic final in each to women's and the men's that was actually rescheduled um curling women's rounds robin session 10 you have canada u.s switzerland korea men's round robin session 11 china great uh, china switzerland great britain roc italy denmark and women's round robin session 11 you have korea denmark japan u.s roc sweden and china canada 
Freestyle skiing, you have the men's free ski slope style final run three, and in the men's aerials final two in gold medal events. We have playoffs. Quarterfinals, um, you have U.S. and Slovakia, ROC Denmark, Finland, Switzerland, and we don't know who Sweden's opponent is going to be yet, which would be 8.30 tomorrow morning, which would be 7.30 at night here tonight, and then U.S. plays at midnight out there, it looks like. And, or no, I'm sorry, it is on noon out there, which would be 11 a.m. here. Or noon out there, so 11 p.m. here. So confusing. Yes, yeah. It's 11 o'clock here, noon out there. Nordic Combine, the Gunderson Large Hill 10 kilometer official training for short, short track speed skating. We have the men's 5,000 relay final A and the women's final A 1,500 meter. So that's it for Olympics today. Now we'll move on to college basketball. We'll recap the games from last night and look ahead to the games being played tonight. UNC Wilmington over William & Mary, 80-73 in overtime. New Hampshire over UMBC, 68-62. St. Bonaventure over St. Louis, 89-83-79. or Colgate over Lafayette, 69-61. Austin P over Eastern Illinois, 62-54. American over Holy Cross, 60-54. Hartford over Vermont, 75-74 in overtime. Davidson over Duquesne, 72-61. UCF over Tulsa, 76-67. Delaware over James Madison, 81-60. Charleston over Drexel, 79-75. Lehigh over Bucknell, 86-77. NC Central over Coppin State, 77-74. Howard over Maryland Eastern, 77-71. Virginia Tech over Virginia, 62-53. Kansas State over West Virginia, 78-63. Or 73. Purdue Fort Wayne over Cleveland State, 102-98 in triple overtime. Marist over Niagara, 77-70. Fairfield over Canisius, 80-76 in overtime. Morgan State over South Carolina State, 76-66. Norfolk State over Delaware State, 69-66. Western Kentucky over Southern Miss, 87-77. Alabama and m over Al- Arkansas Pine Bluff, 74-69. Northern Colorado over Southern Utah, 195. UIC over IUPUI, 57-54. Southern over Texas Southern, 70-58. Jackson State over Bethune-Cookman, 71-51. Parisio over Grambling, 71-70. Alcorn State over Farler a and 68-56. Number 6, Kansas over Oklahoma State, 76-62. Oregon over Washington State, 62-59. Dayton over Rhode Island, 63-57. Creighton over Georgetown, 88-77. And Mississippi Valley, Valley State upsets Alabama State, 85-71. Now we look ahead to tonight's window. 6 o'clock, you have High Point and Longwood. My line for this game is Longwood, 16 and a half. And it is... Eight and a half and one thirty five and a half laying the points. Akron and Western Michigan. My projection is Akron fourteen. It's nine and a half, one twenty eight and a half laying the points. A good one in the MAC. Kent State Toledo and CBS Sports Network. My projection is Toledo eight and a half and it's nine and one forty five and a half. I'm taking the over. Six thirty, Big Ten Network, number nineteen, Michigan State at Penn State. My projection is Michigan State by twelve and a half. And it's three and one thirty. I'm laying the points. Wake Forest, Duke, number nine, Duke. My projection for this game, by the way, this game's on ESPN. Duke 16 and a half, and it is 10 half and 150, laying the points. ESPN 2, number 20, Texas at Oklahoma. My projection is Texas by 7, and it's 1 and 126 and a half. I'm laying the 1 with Texas. Merrimack and Sacred Heart. My projection is. I'll pick them, and it's one and a half and one three and a half. I'll take the over. Memphis and Cincinnati. 
My projection is Cincinnati by one half, and it's Memphis two and a half, total one forty two and a half. Give me Cincinnati plus two and a half and plus one succeed straight up. Iona St. Peter's. My projection is Iona by five and a half. And it's four and one thirty three and a half. I'm gonna go with the over. Hofstra Alon, my projection is Hofstra seven and a quarter. And we got six and a half and one forty two and a half. I'll take the over. Tulane and South Florida, my projection is Tulane by four. And it's three and a half, one twenty nine and a half. I'll take the over. Clemson, Florida State. My projection is Florida State by a whopping 14 and a half. And it's two and one three seven. I'm winning the two of Florida State. Liberty and North Florida. My projection for this game is Liberty by a whopping 13. And it's eight and a half, one three and a half. I'm winning the points with Liberty. VCU, Florida. My projection is VCU by 17. And we got here 8 and 125. I'm going to lay to 8 with VCU. Eastern Michigan and Central Michigan. My projection is Central by 3 and a quarter. And it's Eastern 1 half, total 145 and a half. I'm taking Central plus the 1 half and plus 102 straight up. Northern Illinois and Ball State. My projection is Ball by 12. And it's 8 and a half, 144 and a half. I'm laying the 8 and a half of Ball. Miami of Ohio and Ohio. My projection is Ohio by a whopping 17 and a half. And it's 11 and a half and 144. I'm laying the points at Ohio. Buffalo Bowling Green. My projection is Buffalo by eight. And it's five and a half, one sixty-three and a half. I'm laying the points of Buffalo. South Carolina, Ole Miss on ESPNU. My projection is Ole Miss by two and a half. And we got here four and one thirty-five over. Florida and Texas AM on SEC Network. My projection is Florida by one. And it's A&M by one, total 134. I'm taking Florida plus the one and minus 105 to win. Big game, 8 o'clock, CBS Sports Network, number 10 Villanova, number 8 Providence, a big East game of the season so far. My line is Villanova by three. And it's Villanova by four, total 129. I'm going to go with the over in that game. Bushnell, Portland, we can skip. NC State, Georgia Tech. On ACC Network, my projection here is Georgia Tech by 5. And it's 1.5, 141. I'm laying the points at Georgia Tech. Northern Iowa and Illinois State. My projection is Northern Iowa by 13 a quarter. And it's three and a half, one forty-five and a half. I'm laying the points in Northern Iowa. Bradley and Southern Illinois. My projection: Southern Illinois by two and three quarters, and it's one and one twenty-four and a half. I'm taking the over. Indiana State and Missouri State. My projection is Missouri State by eighteen and three quarters, and it's twelve and a half, one forty-one and a half. I'm laying the points. Minnesota and number 18, Ohio State, 8.30 Big Ten. Network. My projection is Ohio State by a whopping 16.5. And, and it's 12.5 and, and 140. I'm laying the points. 9 o'clock, ESPN, number 4, Kentucky, number 16, Tennessee. My projection is Tennessee by a half. And it's Tennessee by 1, total 140. So not high enough to bet on Kentucky. So I'm going to go with the over. Number 15, Wisconsin at Indiana on ESPN2. My projection is Indiana by one, and it's three and one, 32 and a half. I hate this pick, but I'm taking Wisconsin plus the three. So I was so excited to bet on Indiana as an underdog, but no.
Number 22, Wyoming at New Mexico. Finally, Wyoming's ranked. My projection is Wyoming by 9 and 3 quarters. And it's 5.5 and, and 151. I'm weighing the points of Wyoming. Number 23, Arkansas at Missouri on SEC Network. My projection is Arkansas 14.5. And, and it's 7.5, and 139, half laying the points. Pac-12 Network, Colorado and Oregon State. My projection is Colorado 5.5. And, and it's 4 and 138. I'm going to take the over. Fox Sports 1, Butler, DePaul. My projection is Butler 3.5. And, and it's DePaul 3.5, total 129. Wrong team's favored. DePaul shouldn't be favored against anybody, really, other than Georgetown, maybe, in its own conference. Give me Butler plus 3.5 and, and plus 140 to win outright. ESPN U, Iowa State, TCU. My projection is TCU by 8. And it's 3.5, 127 and a half. I'm laying the points with TCU. TCU is the pick here. Um, UC Irvine, UC San Diego at 10 o'clock. My projection is Irvine by 14.5. And, and it's 5.5, 133. I'm laying the points at Irvine. CBS Sports Network, Utah State, San Diego State. My projection is San Diego State by 12.5. And, and it's 4 and 125 and a half, or 127 and a half. I'm laying the points at San Diego State. And last but not least, 11 o'clock, Fox Sports 1, San Jose State, and Nevada. My projection is Nevada, 18 and 3 quarters. And it's 15 and 142 and a half. I'm going to lay it to 15 with Nevada here against San Jose State. All right, now move on to the NBA. We'll recap the games from last night and look ahead to tonight's window of games. Thunder over the Knicks, 127, 123 in overtime. Thunder. 18 and 39, Knicks 25 and 33. Wizards over to Pistons 103-94. The Wiz 26 and 30. Detroit 12 and 45. Nets over to Kings 109-85. The Nets 30 and 27. The Sacramento 22 and 37. Bulls over to Spurs 120 to 109. Chicago 37 and 21. San Antonio 22 and 36. Trailblazers over to Bucks 122-107. The Blazers 24 and 34. Milwaukee 35 and 23. Pelicans over to Raptors, 120 to 90. Pelicans, 23 and 34. Toronto, 31 and 25. Nuggets over to Magic, 121 and 111. Denver, 32 and 25. Orlando, 13 and 46. Jazz over to Rockets, 135, 101. The Jazz, 36 and 21. Houston, 15 and 41. And the Clippers over to Warriors, 119, 104. The Clippers, 29 and 30. Golden State, 42 and 16. Now we look ahead to the games for. Tonight, 7.30, you have the Cavs and the Hawks. My projections are Hawks 1 and 3 quarters, total 2.16. And I have Cavs by 2, total 2.20 and a half. Um, under. Maps, Heat. My projections, Heat 7 and a half, total 2.11.45. And it's 3 and a half, 2.08 and a half. Um, finally do have to bet an under or an over for that matter. So I'm going to lay the points of the heat. On TNT, Celtic 76 There's No, James Harden's not making his debut, unfortunately. My projection is Sixers by two and three quarters, total 212.4. And it's Boston by two, total 210. Um, I understand that Harden isn't playing yet, but... Boston shouldn't be favored in this game. Give me Sixers plus the two and plus 108 to win outright. Best player on the court is Joel Embiid. Totally disrespectful to him. Pacers, Bucks. My projection is Bucks 13 and three quarters. Total 211 and a half. Meanwhile, it is 12 and a half, 232 and a half. Under. Hornets, Timberwolves. My projection is Charlotte, or I'm sorry, Minnesota by three and a quarter. Total 226.7. And six and a half and 243 and a half. Oh my God, under. That's so high. Grizzlies, Pelicans. My projection is Grizzlies four and a quarter. Total 218.75. And it's four and 227.5. Under. And last but not least, 10 o'clock TNT Clippers Suns. My projection is the Suns by a whopping 19 and three quarters. Total 216.6. And it's 13 and 223. 
Um, I'm going to go. This is a tough one. Six and three quarters. And. Six. And. Four. Or um, not four fifths. Almost a half. So I'm going to actually lay the points here with the Suns against the Clips. All right, NHL, we'll look back on the games from yesterday and look ahead to what I believe is a busy window for tonight. So, Wild over the Red Wings, 7-4. Blackhawks over the Jets, 3-1. Maple Leafs over the Kraken, 6-2. And the Oilers over the Sharks, 3-zip. And a busy window for tonight. At 7 o'clock, you have the Bruins and the Rangers from the Garden. So the Rangers, it's the first time we're seeing them in a while. Um, so they are minus 152 favorites. Boston's plus 126, over under 5.5. Overs minus 118, unders minus 104. Rangers plus, or minus 1.5 is plus 172. Boston plus 1.5 is minus 215. For this game, I'm going to go with the Rangers in regulation. At plus 105. I know it's their first game back. But they're home. Igor Shosturkin should be in net. And he's the biggest reason why, in my opinion, that the Rangers have had this breakthrough season. Or one of the many biggest. But, like, if you ask me, this is number one. Blue Senators. Um... Blues minus 210 cents, plus 172. Over, under 6.5. Overs minus 102. Unders minus 120. Blues minus 1.5 is plus 120. Cents plus 1.5 is minus 148. Um, my pick for this one, I'm going to go over. I think that um, the Blues can put up some goals here in this spot. Lightning Devils. Bolts minus 294, Devils plus 235, over under 6.5, over is even money, under is minus 132, Lightning minus 1.5 is minus 118, Devils plus 1.5 is minus 104. I'm going to go with the over on juice money. Flyers, Penguins, Pens minus 360, Flyers plus 280, over under 6, over is minus 120, under is minus 102. Flyers plus 1.5 is plus 116, Penguins minus 1.5 is minus 142. I'm going to go with the under in this game. I think that Tristan Jari will play well. And um, that plus the combination of Philly and distraction. So I like the under. Islander Sabres. Isles minus 192. Sabres plus 158. Over under 5.5. Overs minus 108. Unders minus 114. Islanders minus 1.5 is plus 138. Sabres plus 1.5 is minus 170. Um. I'm going to go with the Sabres here. Um, the Islanders have been very disappointing this year, not living up the preseason expectations. And this is, I think, one of the more disappointing seasons in their history of their franchise, if you ask me. So I'm going to take the Sabres plus 158 against the Islanders. 8 o'clock, Capitals, Predators. Preds minus 137, Caps plus 114, over under 6, overs minus 104, unders minus 118. Caps plus one of is minus two thirty five. Preds minus one of is plus one eighty four. Um, I'm gonna go with the under. I know it's a juice number, but um, I think it's a low scoring game. Nine o'clock. Blue Jackets. Flames. Flames minus two ninety five. Jackets plus two thirty five. Over under six and a half. Overs minus one hundred two. Unders minus one twenty. Jackets plus one of is minus one hundred two. Flames minus one of is minus one twenty. I'm going to go with the over. I think that this is going to be a higher scoring game than people will expect. Stars Avalanche. The Avs are minus 265. Dallas plus 215. Over under 6 and a half. Over is minus 104. Under is minus 118. Dallas plus 1 half is minus 114. Avs minus 1 half is minus 106. Um, I'm going to go with the over again here. I think this is just the Avalanche putting on an avalanche of goals. No pun intended. 10.30, Oilers, Kings. Kings minus 125, Oilers plus 104, over under 6.5, overs minus 105, unders minus 115. 
Oilers plus one half is minus two forty five. Kings minus one half is plus one ninety four. I think with the new coach, I think Edmonton will start to uh, rattle off some wins here. So give me the Oilers plus one hundred four at Los Angeles. All right, now I'll move on to news and notes for today. Um, so, um. The Women's Basketball Hall of Fame class has been released. And starring this class is new Las Vegas Aces head coach Becky Hammond. Um, Penny Taylor is also in the class. Um, also, the Paul coach Doug Bruno. Former coaches Paul Sanderford and Bob Schneider, contributor Debbie Antonelli, and veteran player Alice Cookie Barron. So congratulations to the WNBA, or Women's Basketball, I should say, Hall of Fame inductees, which still will be introduced on June 11th. Evander Kane's back with the Sharks and here boos. Which um I know it's hard and I know um they always say you shouldn't boo your own player. But what Evander Kane did was just inexcusable. And this shouldn't be surprising. Also, um, Jack Eichel says he's ready to rock as he says he has a lot to prove to himself and to the rest of the league and to the organization. And that's absolutely true. He's ready to prove why um, Buffalo um, was moronic not to build a better team around him. Some interesting stuff. Um, Tamika Catchings is stepping down as VP of Basketball Operations and GM of the Indiana Fever. Um, I'm going to have Jeff Maglicetti on the show tomorrow. We'll talk about this. Um, that is um, a little bit surprising. I know the Fever haven't been a good team the last few years, but um, I thought that Tamika would be around for a while there. Mattress Mac is down $15 million in this calendar year as the Texas Furniture Store owner vows to keep going after $9.5 million Super Bowl loss and sees um, some redemption along the road. So the NHL has had their first ever all-black broadcast set as the Kraken duo JT Brown and Everett Fitzhug um, are going to headline the uh, first all-black TV broadcast. And they were excited to uh, move the needle. And this was last night's game. So um, that's awesome to see that in, in hockey. Because that, that's um, something that uh, I think the league um, wants to have more of. Tyreek Evans reinstated by the NBA as the former NBA guard reinstated after he was banned in 2019 for violating the league's anti-drug policy. So we'll see if anybody signs him to help out, like the Lakers or something like that. <laughs> Pat Beverly agrees to a one-year $13 million extension with the Timberwolves, so he'll be back next year. Um, Rudy Gobert came back yesterday against the Rockets. Pat Connington out four weeks with a broken finger. So that's unfortunate for the Bucks. James Harden's going to be out through the All-Star break as he will make his debut after the All-Star break as he rehabs his hamstring injury. And... Jared Allen named an all-star to replace James Harden on the roster, so that's good. They picked a, uh, a center. And Harden was at practice for the Sixers and is all smiles on the floor with his teammates. And Ben Simmons was at Barclays 
Kevin Durant greeted him at his first shoot around. Um, Cincinnati extends football coach Luke Fickle through 2028, $5 million a year. So that's awesome that Fickle got to stay in Cincinnati, took them to the playoff. Always rumors about him jumping ship, but he didn't. So uh, good for Cincinnati for keeping him around. And speaking of Jack Geichel, we talked about him earlier. Um, He'll make his debut on Wednesday against the Avalanche in the TNT doubleheader nightcap. So that is going to be about as sexy as a hockey game you're going to see all year. The Calgary Flames acquired Tyler Toffoli from the Montreal Canadiens for a first-round pick, a fifth-round pick, forward Tyler Pitlick, and a prospect. Um, I think that is a nice package for Montreal for Toffoli, and I like this pickup for the Flames. Toffoli is a big-game guy, um, played in the Stanley Cup Finals with the Kings. So the Flames get an experienced uh, winger here in Toffoli. Um, Joe Burrow was vibing to his favorite rapper, Kid Cudi's um, music with them at the Bengals post-Super Bowl party. I had no idea the Bengals had a post-Super Bowl party even after a defeat. Celebrating a season in which um, they... Um, Really have a lot to be proud of. The Arizona Cardinals are unhappy with Kyler Murray as the team wants more leadership from him. And there's been notes that he's not an early in, laid out guy. So now um, he's being talked about as a available for trade. So we'll see if Arizona um, pulls the trigger on a potential deal. The new college basketball eight people is out. Number one's Gonzaga, of course. Number two's Auburn. Three's Arizona. Four's Kentucky. Five's Purdue. Six through ten, Kansas, Baylor, Providence, Duke, Villanova. Eleven through fifteen, Texas Tech, Illinois, UCLA, Houston, Wisconsin. Sixteen through twenty, Tennessee, USC, Ohio State, Michigan State, Texas. Twenty-one through twenty-five, Murray State, Wyoming, Arkansas, UConn, Alabama. So Alabama back in the rankings. Arkansas is in there. Good to see Murray State and Arkan and uh, Wyoming in there. And at some point, maybe tomorrow or Thursday, I want to do a um um a mock bracket, which I haven't done all season. Maybe in the preseason I did one, but I don't remember. But we need to do one, and I think um it'd be interesting to see how. That would play out. All right, some non-sports related news here. Um, the Oscar hosts Regina Hall, Amy Schumer, and Wanda Sykes. So that is a good trio for the Oscars, which is going to take place on March twenty seventh. So we have about a month and a half to go until the Oscars. But those are three really good um women to uh host this event. Whoopi Goldberg returns to the view after suspension. Um, so it's good to see her back on the show. Let's just hope that she stays out of trouble. Because she's a uh, prominent figure on that show for sure. Um, A-Rod is in a group buying Donald Trump's D.C. hotel. So that's a little interesting that A-Rod um, doing a lot than more than just being an analyst for... Uh, Fox and ESPN, he's a part owner of the Timberwolves, and now um, he's buying a Donald Trump's hotel in D.C. What makes that interesting is that um, that Donald Trump really doesn't like A-Rod. So um, that's what makes this like an interesting little subplot. And one more is that uh, Rosario Dawson and Cory Booker split up. Um, the uh, Cory Booker is obviously a senator from New Jersey, and uh, 
Dawson is a um actress and producer. Um so um they dated for two years and now they had split. So that is um unfortunate for them and um I wonder what caused this. All right, last but not least, my best bet of the day. Brought to you by FanDuel. Um not that many um things stand out to me today in terms of a um best bet. Um there's a couple things that I do like. Um last yesterday I lost with best bet. I took the under or no, I won with best bet. Never mind. I took the under two three one and a half in uh um Milwaukee Portland game and I won. And um I forget what my best bet record for this month is now. I want to say it is something like 5 and 6 or something like that. I wanted to take another under in the NBA, but I don't know if I'm going to go with it because um it's Charlotte, Minnesota, 243 and a half. It's just so high that nobody significant is injured in that game. But 234 is the total in Pacers box, and as far as I'm concerned, Giannis Adekumbo is not playing. So I'm going to go with the uh, second day in a row. I'm going to lay a quarter unit on under 234 between the Pacers and the Bucks for my best bet of the day. So the Bucks under the second day in a row for best bet. All right. So that's it for today's show. I'll be back tomorrow recapping everything in each sport, including the Olympics. We'll have everything tomorrow. Um, I am going to do um, Genesis Open. Talk a little bit. Maybe I'll make my pick and go over the um, uh, of tea times. And then tomorrow night, I'm going to have my friend Jeff Maglachetti on. I haven't had him on in a long time. Um, NASCAR is coming back. So we have um, Daytona 500 coming up. So we're going to talk about that. Now probably have him give picks for uh, trucks and Xfinity um, season championship winners as well. So we'll do that tomorrow night with Jeff, as well as talk um, a little WNBA and maybe some uh, local college troops as well. Hope you guys have a great day, everyone.